This was the conclusion of a three-day fishing tournament here in uh, North Point Marine in Winthrop Harbor, uh, Illinois. And uh, it's the ninth year we've run this tournament, and it's a pro-am configuration. So we have uh, several professional fishermen that come in from about seven different states to fish for salmon and trout. This year was pretty tough fishing. Uh, some years we've had uh, a lot of fish. This year, a pretty hard bite and pretty tough, tough times to, to collect them. But these, these pros, these amateurs, they, they still caught, I think, 3,800 pounds of fish. And, um, and then we donate that fish to a local food pantry, uh, all in the, the name of Jeffrey Morris, who was my son who was killed in uh, combat back in uh, Iraq in 2004. We started fishing um, out of this harbor back in 1990. So we've been here for quite a bit, quite a bit of time. And um, I, heck, it's a little boy. We used to take him out fishing uh, bluegills and crappie, like every dad, take your boy out fishing. And we got on a big lake here, and we decided, let's give our shot at uh, salmon and trout, and never looked back. Uh, we fished tournaments up and down this river, and we just, we just really enjoyed it. And we always said, you know what, when the Coho Classic stopped, we said, you know, we really need to, to start up another tournament here in Waukegan so that we have something in the Illinois waters. And um, then, of course, I mean, we get older and, and we don't do nearly as much. And Jeff became quite the, quite the football player and, and athlete and graduated Warren High School. And he and 17 of his buddies um, joined the Marine Corps. And uh, they all went off to war and combat. And uh, Jeff never came back. But one of the letters he wrote to me um, talked about his memories of fishing. Uh, he's on the Humvee going across the sands and the motion, he says, of the Humvee reminded him of riding on the bow while we were fishing and it just brought him back something, something from his childhood that he just had fond, fond memories of and that was fishing on Lake Michigan. So when he didn't make it back from combat, I thought, well, you know, uh, fishing tournament would be a good way to give back. It was healing to him. It's healing to an awful lot of veterans. A lot of us, a lot of us fish. Uh, it's a peaceful time on the water. There's some competition there. Uh, it's just a wonderful bonding opportunity. So we got this harebrained idea back in, to start it in 2005 and hooked up with some great people. Uh, we just put this tournament together and it just kind of grew from there. And um, it's been a wonderful opportunity. And, we always have the, some of the best fishermen on Great Lakes fish this tournament. And it's been a real privilege to, to learn from these guys and, and, and watch them compete and catch fish when so few others can. These guys really know how to get it done. And uh, it's just been a wonderful opportunity. And how Jeff fits all into that, it was, it's, you know, it was his remembrance of that bonding time between he and I when he was a kid that I thought that's something we should do for all the others that did come back, those that did honorably serve, an opportunity to, to bring them the same kind of healing and memories that, that Jeff had as a boy. And um, we continue to instill that in, in kids. And we, you know, these veterans bring out their young ones today. It's just, it's just a real special opportunity to share with these kids. And uh, Jeff was the, the focus and, and the, the reason for all of it. And uh, it helps, helps a lot. Day in the water, out fishing with a, a bunch of veterans and getting to meet new people, it, it really is something special that really puts my mind at ease personally. There's just something about um, being one with the world again uh, out of a little box that we call home and going to venture out at sea is uh, something really fun. It's, uh, there's just something extremely relaxing and uh, for someone like me, really, I have a lot of mental issues. If, if you would say there's something very calming about just floating along the water and uh, kicking back with a few buds and trying to snap a live one. I think it's just kind of like being in the military, you know, like nothing ever goes as planned. Yeah, we would have liked to catch a bunch of fish, but that's not always the way it goes. And sometimes the stories end up better that way. It, it really wasn't about the, the fish that we caught or the size of the fish that we didn't catch. I think it was just being out here and being a part of this and uh, being with, with the, all of our fellow veterans. This is. Uh, one of the most fantastic things I've been a part of in a long time. Uh, one, just for the love of fishing, but on top of that, and the more important reason is just all these veterans coming together and 
uh, spending some time together and remembering what's important and paying our dues and respect to wounded warriors, but also those that gave the ultimate sacrifice and uh, did not make it back home. So I think this is a real good chance for us to enjoy something that we love, but also keeping something else very powerful in mind. Being out on the water isn't just relaxing, but it, it helps you. Um, I think anytime you can get outside and do an activity like fishing especially, or hunting, there is something magical about it, and uh, I'm glad to be out here. I served from 2000 to 2004 in the United States Marine Corps. Um, I was a part of Operation Enduring Freedom right after September 11th, and then um, went on a second deployment, which was the invasion of Iraq in uh, 2003. And uh, after the invasion of Iraq, about three days after, I uh, came home and a guy fell asleep at the wheel and I ended up uh, breaking my neck in the accident and paralyzed from the neck down now. I was in the United States Army from 2009 to uh, 2013. Deployed to Afghanistan, uh, Ghazni province for 12 months with uh, 1st Infantry Division. And uh, my biggest challenge uh, returning back home and transitioning is uh, more mentally than physically. But uh, I'm glad to be home and working towards making myself better. These kids did it. They did what their country asked them to do. It doesn't take much for us to uh, give back and say thanks. Don't have to ask them. Don't let what they do with each other. It's special to listen to the, watch these kids talk to each other and, and help each other and mentor each other. Um, and uh, that's what veterans do, man. They help each other out. And that's what this tournament does is pull them together. There's a, there's a very special group of veterans here today. Uh, all you guys are special, but I found out about Oscar Mike here. Uh, it's a great group of folks. It's all U.S. made products. Well, Oscar Mike is uh, a foundation that was started to help disabled veterans get involved in adaptive sports. Really, there's a lot of great events that exist, but um, guys are having to use their own money to get to these events. And, you know, it's one of those things that if, if you can get them to these events, after a life-changing injury, it's, it's something that really helps them start setting goals and moving on with their lives. So instead of making them go into debt to do it, we decided to create this organization to help raise money to pay for their, their travel and um, stays at these different events. We actually sell apparel to do that, um, not only to market the foundation and raise money for it, but we weren't able to find any military apparel on any of the bases or even on the internet that was made in the U.S. So we kind of uh, helped solve a couple problems with, with what we created. We are all out here today trying to catch some fish for a wonderful cause. Anything that's caught today we will be donating to local food shelters in the area. Less fortunate individuals don't have as much opportunity to have protein in their diet, and so we are looking forward to catching a lot of fish today and sending them right back into the food shelter. It's all part of the Jeffrey Morris Fishing Tournament in support of our wounded warriors, and we're pleased to help and be a part of this project. Comcast supports and is taking place in the Hiring Our Heroes program. We've already hired a thousand veterans and we hope to hire a thousand more. We do this in support of our veterans who have given so much to us. The least we can do is help them find a job when they come back home.